Okay, in Cinema 4D, we're gonna recreate this little space alien octopus looking creature. Uh, kind of looks like an object, a vinyl toy object or something like that. Uh, so it's really not that hard. Let me show you what it looks like without the materials. Kind of looks like that. And without the subdivision surface, which smooths it out, looks kind of like that. Okay, so very simple, not hard to do at all. Let's recreate it. Start with clicking and holding on this cube and go over to sphere and drag this sphere up on the y-axis by dragging that green arrow. I'm moving it above the, the grid a little bit. That's probably a little bit too far. Um, and what I wanna do next is come over here to the object tab and change the segments down to eight because our octopus, space alien octopus is gonna have eight faces that could be extruded for the legs or the little tentacles. Click on this button, make editable. Click on this button, which is your faces, and click on this live selection arrow. Let's tumble with this button here, right here to where we can see the bottom. Click and drag to select all these faces, and then tumble back the other direction. Hold down, or just touch M on your keyboard, and then look down the list there. We're looking for something called matrix extrude, so that's X and you get this little icon next to your cursor. Don't click on the faces, click over to the side, click, hold, and drag down. Yours probably looks like, like that, or something similar to that. So over here in these options, let's plug in 10 right here, and negative 10 for the rotate in that area right there. And already, we have that. Wasn't that fast? Cinema 4D is so amazing at how quick and easy things are. Um, so let's jump into the next stage of this. Make sure that blue arrow is pointing backwards, like out the back of this little guy. And we want to extrude into the the body right there. Okay, so click on this little button here. This is the model button. Um, and let's go ahead and start naming this. So click on sphere over here in the object manager, hit return, and I'm going to name this body. And then I'm going to get my live selection, the faces mode, click and drag these two faces and I'm going to kind of extrude inward but first before I extrude inward I'm gonna hit M and then W which is extrude inner click over here on the side drag over to the left and then M T which is extrude over here on the side again click and drag to the left okay and now with those selected live selection tool there those faces are selected right there. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. Now I should be able to see inside of that little character like that. And we're going to fit an eyeball inside of there. Uh, the only thing is I want to move this, like these points right over here. So the points button there. And I'm going to, with my live selection tool, I'm going to click and drag to select these points. That's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Yep, I have the right point selected. It looks like I only have three selected there. And that green arrow, drag it up a little bit. That's good. For right now, that's fine. So now, up here, this green button, click and hold that as a subdivision surface. That's going to smooth everything out. And we need to drop this body into that subdivision surface. Click and drag until you see a white arrow pointing down and drop it onto the subdivision surface. And now, that subsurface is applying to the, the body. So the body is a child of that subsurface. Very, very cool. That's looking fantastic. Let's add some color to this guy. Double click down here in the material section. Double click on that material. And color. Let's give it kind of a purpley color that we saw at the beginning. Something, something like that. That's fine. You can choose whatever color you want, of course. Click and drag the material and drop it onto the body. And now we need an eyeball. That's gonna be simply getting a sphere again, dragging this up, scaling it down with the scale tool. Click over here to scale, click and drag down, and then move it kind of up a little bit, down a little bit. That's probably pretty perfect. My first try, wow. It may take a little bit of finagling to get that eyeball in there just like that. Um, and then I want to rename this, so click on this, hit return, and rename sphere to I. And then double click inside here to add, double click on that material, 
color. We're going to add a little bit of an off-white color to that sphere to make it look more like an eye color. There we go. And then we need to make that editable and then rotate. We're going to rotate this eye downward a little bit. Click on that model button there. There we go. Rose rotate axis. I can't really see what I'm looking for. So I'm going to do display garage shading lines. And there we go. Now you can see what it looks like. Um, it's that that polar end of the sphere. Uh, it looks like a, a pupil. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, go to live selection, click on faces and click and drag to select those middle faces. Double click here. New material. Double click on that. Uh, color is going to be a little bit darker color here, almost black. Right click on this and hit apply. And then with your live selection tool, click and drag to select these parts right here. It's going to be like the iris. Let's make that kind of a bluish color. That sounds pretty good. Or maybe kind of teal. I don't know. It's up to you. Right click that and apply. And there we go. Boom. That quick, that fast. That's how easy it can be in Cinema 4D. Very, very awesome. Looks like there's one little spot that I missed for, for the black. So let's select that and see if I can get in there closer. Deselect over here. Select that one little face. Come on, buddy. Boom, right there. And right click this and apply. Perfect. And I'm gonna turn the uh, display back to garage shading and click on subdivision surface here. And there it is. And then the last thing is to, um, yeah, with the subdivision surface, I'm gonna smooth this out just a bit more. Right here, subdivision editor, bump that up one, this little up arrow right here, bump that up to three, or you can manually type that in. And then here is the render view. Click on that button to see your final, your final work. Very good. That was fun. See you later.